If you're like me, and you chose the fruit bats over the mushrooms because you really didn't know where to get any fruit, you didn't know about fruit trees, or maybe you just needed an apple for the community bundle and you figure this would be the quickest way to get one, and you're kind of regretting it now because it's end game and you want some mushrooms for the life elixirs, or maybe you just have a greenhouse that has a lot of fruit trees in it and the fruit bats aren't really helping a lot. For example, I have this greenhouse and it has every single fruit tree and they produce one fruit every single day for each tree. So I get a lot of fruit from my fruit trees and this cave really isn't helping with any of that. It's just kind of in the way and I really want the mushrooms for the cave and unfortunately you can't do it in game. You can't change the cave in game as much as we'd all like. You cannot do it in game. You actually have to edit a little bit of code but that's no problem, it's actually really simple. It sounds intimidating, but it really isn't. The first step into changing the cave is to get everything out of the cave. You cannot have you know, any chests or anything. You have to take everything out and just make sure there's nothing inside the cave. And after you do that, you have to save the game. So wait for the end of the day if you want, or you can save right now. It really doesn't matter, it's up to you. And once you have saved the game, just exit. Next, you want to hit the Windows key and R at the same time, and then in this little window here, type in percent app data percent. And then after you hit enter, just locate the Stardew Valley folder and double click that, and then you'll see the saves folder, so double click that, and this folder right here is going to show your character's name. So before you do anything, just copy and paste this folder somewhere else, I'll copy and paste it to my desktop, just in case you delete something that you weren't supposed to delete. So after you've done that, just double click the folder, and you'll see four files here. Click the one that has your name here, and make sure it does not say old at the end of it. Now I'm opening this with Notepad, you can use whatever text editor you like, now there is a lot of text here. Don't let that intimidate you. All you have to do is hit Control F, and that's gonna bring up this little window here. Now just type in the following. Now there are actually two of these texts, one at the top of the page and one at the bottom. Just make sure the one that's highlighted is the one at the very top, not at the very bottom. Once you made sure of that, all you have to do is just delete it. And that's it, you're done. Just make sure to save Notepad by hitting File, Save at the top left corner, and after that, you're good to go. Just exit and launch up Stardew Valley again. Now load the game up and walk right outside of the house, and Demetrius should be right at your doorstep. So basically just scroll through the dialogue, and it'll bring up this little window right here, and you can just click Mushrooms. And this will take effect right away. So we have six mushroom boxes in our cave now, no fruit bats. The mushrooms won't actually be produced today because it takes a day for them to grow. But that's basically how to switch from fruit bats to mushrooms. Now if you want to change your cave from mushrooms to fruit bats, it's a bit of a harder process. You actually have to go into the code and delete the boxes from the code. It is a little bit more difficult, but I will post a thread in the description below on how to do that. It really isn't too hard, but it is a little bit more work. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.